<laughs> Arsenio, I have a question for you. Uh, first of all, thank you for being well, here. Well, you're welcome, whatever. <laughs> uh, are you a vampire? Um, I could be. You have been on television <laughs> since 1989. <laughs> and you, you remember a show? <laughs> you have not aged. <laughs> there he is, look at that. Yes. There we are. Yeah. Yep, that's me next to him right there. <laughs> you have not aged. It's insane, and I'm, I feel like maybe you made a deal with the devil. Uh, uh, that's not an answer. That's <laughs> true. Where's my Ellen t uh, sweatshirt? Oh, man, isn't this cool? It, yeah, I didn't yeah. get one. I got one for you. I got one for you. And you know what? You're all getting one today. Oh, great. Yeah! Oh, great. Yeah! That's exciting! <laughs> no, you're not. That's exciting no. for everybody. Yeah! No, Free no. sweatshirts! No, uh, yeah! No. Yep! Yeah. We don't... I only have two. I only had two. Oh, that... We know you're lying. You get one when you walk out. <laughs> Congratulations. And a free mug. Ah! Ah! So many of you. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> and you all get to go to Joel's house after the show. Yay! Yes! That's right. <laughs> All right, you look great. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure to have you in this. I actually met you recently. Yes. And uh, was able to call you and ask you to do this now. But uh, It was great to meet you on that uh, Anthony Anderson show, who's someday his career will take off. Yes. Uh, he's not busy at all. No, not at all. Does he need another show? Mm -hmm. I feel like he's being selfish. Uh, no, we got to meet, <laughs> and I was so excited to meet you because uh, you were, I mean, I was a teenager when... Uh, your talk show came out, and I can't, and then I was like, here I am talking to you, and I don't know if you know this about Arsenio, he's actually this way in real life. He's, <laughs> he's way too nice. He doesn't walk up to a PA and go, does this cappuccino seem hot to you? And then throw it on them. <laughs> and then they're like, it's scalding. I would like it a little cooler. You're actually the night, and I was like, why are you so nice? And, and Arsenio was I, like, I, uh, a deal with the devil that I made. Yeah. <laughs> made but he was just like, you got to be thankful. You just got to be thankful every day. Yeah. And I was like, that is way too nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am, man. I mean, we're in a business that some people dream of being in. And you and actually. There's, but there's a lot of jerks. Yes. OK. Yes. I think you were supposed to actually come to my show once back in the day. I was. Uh, way back when I played, well, not really. I played football. But not as a guest, right? Not as a guest, okay. in, the, in the audience, uh, with a mask, strangely. And uh, I was on the University of Washington football team uh, at that point. I was a young man who had knees. And I was a terrible, so we were all, they said that was part of the uh, itinerary was to go to the Arsenio Hall show. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited, but I was a red shirt and not very good at football. They're like, you're not coming maybe <laughs> maybe next year so we didn't get i didn't get to go so this is like the answer to like a thousand weird prayers that i had i'm like and now i'm actually being interviewed by arsenio hall i never dreamt of that this is kind of cool it's cool for me because i was a soup fan yeah and i dreamt that you were wearing a sweatshirt that said ellen on it for some reason <laughs> and she wasn't even famous back then <laughs> um Stand up. Stand up. I hear you're doing it again. Yeah, I started doing stand up again a few months ago, and it's great because the audiences are so, we're so desperate to see stand up. You could be horrible. And no. I told some really bad jokes, and they were like, it's fine. We're still just happy to be here. <laughs> and the hecklers were like, you're doing great. <laughs> it was great. Are you doing it again? Yes. Uh, I went with Leno to Flappers the other night out in Burbank. Oh my God. And, and you're right, the audience is so happy to be out. I said, hey, and they were like, <laughs> nailed it. Yes. How do you do it? That's some funny stuff. We'll be right back with more Joe. Uh, we're back with Joe McHale. The teacher hates us. We're like the. Yeah, kids. we just tried to start the show and we were chatting and they were like, you, you're, you're on. And so we had to redo it. How old are you? You talk about, you talk about my age. How old are you? Uh, well, I was born in 1939. So I look. <laughs> <laughs> I look great. Uh, no, I'll be 50 next month. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, 50. Here comes the midlife crisis. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel, though? I, I'm 65, dog, so you, are... you get no sympathy. 
You get no sympathy from me. <laughs> do, do you know he has not aged in 30 years? And then, yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, the only uh, it's uh, look. I'm dying. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, it's very odd. It's very odd being this age because, like, when I meet people, I'm like, oh, they're probably right around my age. Mm -hmm. And then they, I, you know, then it's like, no, no, no. I was born after you were driving for <laughs> ten years. So uh, it's very odd. Uh, and it's it's fine. And I just, you know, I've started buying stuff. Uh, because you can take it to heaven with you, right? <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, so yeah, I, I started, I, well, I, my wife was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just gonna buy just this old car. Is that cool? And then, so I'm a poor man's Jay Leno now. <laughs> and I've asked to borrow one of his hangers for, I, I, but that's, that's my midlife crisis. The right day now. I met you, I think you were in an old Bronco. I was in an old Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser, yes. yes. You Look, there's the Bronco. Old Bronco, that's OJ's father. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's different meaning. I, I have a Bronco and I lie down in the back just for fun sometimes. <laughs> uh, but the Bronco people, the Land Cruiser people, and the Blazer people are all very, uh, they, they, that's like, call it like meeting an Australian person and going, you're from New Zealand, huh? And then, <laughs> then they want to kill you. So do you collect anything? Uh, cue cards. And on this one, <laughs> on this one, it, what an it, odd, you must have so many. <laughs> I, you know what, at my show, we used to have each guest sign a blank cue card. So I have these incredible cue cards from like Raquel Welch and Richard Pryor and... Uh, wow. It's just something that no one cares about, but... That, I, uh, look, they, I, I care. <laughs> no. Oh, that's so okay. cool. I know you're trying to get, I know you're trying to get to the thing. I, your people, if I don't say DC's Stargirl right now... DC's Stargirl, yes. I, I'm, I'm gonna be, be in trouble. It's picked up for the third season and you're gonna be a regular. Yes, I was just appearing. In the first episode of the first season, my character dies. Uh, but now I'm back. Uh, yeah. So uh, hold on to your hat or your cosmic staff. This is what my character holds. I'm, I'm Star Man. Uh, but Star Girl is played by Breck Bassinger, who is uh, a 22-year-old dynamo actor. And when I was 22, I was like, I don't have any shirts, and I'm just gonna go out <laughs> with that one. And so she's very, very, she's great. And Luke Wilson and Amy Smart are in it, and uh, they're, they're no uh, schlubs. And they're, they're, so I'm very happy to be a part of the show. So thank you, Jeff Johns, who, who invented it. It's the, it's the greatest show on television and streaming that's ever been made, so there you go. That Next cool. to this episode of Ellen, <laughs> hosted by Arsenio Hall. And we're out of time. No. More with Joel when we come back.